We are entering the festive season with the electronics projects to match. Let's make this LED strip light up with the world tiniest microcontroller. With the holidays coming up, we also have some free time coming our way, which means that it's the perfect time to take a few days and experiment with microcontrollers and electronics and release your inner child and make some fun projects. With that in mind, I'm going to test out a new kit today and we're going to try to make some Christmas themed projects, which to me basically just mean a lot of twinkly pretty lights. Let's try. So I got this new Seed Studio kit that is Arduino compatible and it comes with these absolutely minuscule, there you go, this is a microcontroller. These tiny things supposedly can do the same things that an Arduino board could or even a Raspberry Pi one. So I'm very curious to see if that's true and to try and play with some of the sensors that come with the kit. So this is quite similar with the Arduino sensor kit that you can get. I also got one of these uh, Arduino plug and play kits earlier on and I think it's quite similar. You kind of have the same type of sensors in there and you have the same type of connections to it, which are these little boards where the cables go in that are already pre-welded together to go for all the pins that each sensor needs. So it's very convenient to start playing with it. Oh, and I think this one's also Seed Studio. Well, this wasn't even sponsored. But really, regardless of what kit you have around the house, there's always a lot of overlap between the types of pieces that come with it and the way that they can connect. So try to follow along with whatever you have. Or if you do want to buy uh, one of the kits that I'm working with, I'll put a lot of links in the description and I also have a discount code for everybody. But to get started, we are going to play with this tiny little things. First thing you want to do is, of course, connect it to your computer or laptop. It is so tiny, but the only port it has is a USB-C, so you can very easily connect it to your device. And it is compatible with the Arduino IDE, which means that it's quite simple to get set up and you have the classic setup and loop uh, functions and you can play within that. What you need to do first is install these plugins within the Arduino environment so they don't come fully out of the box, but you can easily just add them on. Uh, and there's an instruction manual that I'll put in the description as well. What I did is I added the specific boards that I got into the program. So I'm playing now with the Array 4M1, not the easiest names, uh, but once you connect that, it will show the same way that any of your Arduino boards would, and you can work within the Arduino IDE with the classic C++. Now we have a lot of examples already in the IDE once you've installed it, so you can just open those and run them just to make sure that everything's okay. And obviously the first thing we're gonna try is the blink. And then it blinks on this tiny little controller. It has a tiny, tiny, tiny LED. It's so tiny. How many times am I gonna say tiny? Okay, but it also has an actual really fun multiple colored light as well. So the next example we're gonna try is turning that on and we get this little code snippet that kind of loops through a lot of RGB spectra colors and it makes it color up really, really prettily, which is already kind of Christmassy themed, so that's a plus. And then if we wanna move on and add more components, you can solder them into the little pins that the controller has and add like LEDs and any components you might have around. I do not have a soldering kit because I'm not at that level yet. So I'm gonna use these mail-to-mail um, -mail pins to just kind of DIY connect it to the board for now. And uh, this way I'm also like not stuck to a particular example and I can still di disconnect and reconnect them how I want. My kit came with this little board, which I guess is like an extension board for it. You can connect whatever little seed microcontroller you have into the board and then you kind of have a similar setup to what like your Arduino would look like. The only difference is that it has a built-in screen, which I am really excited about because then we can directly show some stuff. Of course, you can just get a screen and connect it to your uh, other microcontroller as well. So again, there's multiple ways to go about it, but we can print stuff on it. So of course, again, the very first thing we're gonna try is hello world. Uh, we can take this from one of the example scripts and run it and it works out very quickly. And we can also change this up a little bit. So I'm going to change the text and make it welcome back to engineering. 
And just to make it a bit more festive, I'm going to combine it with the previous uh, LED code that we tried. And now we have a festive welcome back to engineering for the holidays. It's crazy how like the simplest things when it comes to electronics make you so, so, so happy. Like it's the, the, the simplest, most basic amount of programming that if you wrote in any other scenario, you wouldn't probably not be very impressed. But because it actually lights up and you can see it and you can hold it, it's just so much more exciting. Ah, oh, I just love electronics. All right. So next up, I'm going through this tutorial that they provided to kind of try out the rest of the sensors. And I'll put one of them together just to kind of see how it works. So I'll first connect the temperature and humidity sensor. And again, like I was saying, you just have these cables. You plug it into the sensor, you plug it into the board. And then I'm using, again, the sample code that just says, this is the sensor, please read it. And you can either print the output through the serial monitor of the IDE, so you can kind of see the sensors and the values that are being read. Or because we have the built-in screen, we can use one of the custom libraries and print the results directly to the screen instead. So for any of these little sensors that you have that come with the box or any other sensors, like we've seen in a previous video, we've used an ultrasonic sensor and we used a RFID card. All of those you could still combine to these little tiny seed microcontrollers and it works the same way. But we've already explored that, so let's get into the Christmas cheer. All right, so the kit came with this which is the thing I'm excited about. We're going to make our very own Christmas lights. And there we have it, the RGB LED strip. We're using one of the libraries that you can simply install and add to your Arduino. And this is the library that will control all the different types of pixel work we're doing. There we go. And then we have a very simple example. Plug it in here. So now the strip is connected. The green light already turned on. Ah, there we go. Oh my God, that is so fun. Okay, this is, this is very, very festive. Okay, so this already loops through the rainbow for you. And now we can play with the speed of the rainbow process. So if from 10, five, <laughs> yeah, there we go. And then if we change it to one, <laughs> ta-da! This is so fun and festive. 0 0.1, <sighs> there we go. This is going to be my microphone for the rest of the festive season, I think. All right, there you have it. A very quick, very festive project just in time for the holidays. I'm going to keep playing with these little sensors for the rest of the week and I'll post a few more shorts with the little projects that I can put together. But this is my invitation to try out whatever electronics you have around the house or if you have time to order something before Christmas, do it now, play with them, share what you've made and I'm very curious to see what everyone is doing. Uh, if you want to try out the seed kit that I got, I have the links in the description and you can recreate this project as well. I'm Amelia, welcome back to engineering and I'll see you in the next episode.